Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Alright, so you guys gave me input on what to try, what to do next, and we're going to fight this thing and die, probably. <laughs> and we're going to... We're going to reload the save. So after we die here, I'm going to have to pause the recording. Time isn't passing right now. Okay, there it goes. Oh, is it just like... Oh, maybe the monk's on. There we go. Did he just shoot me? Thrust his claws at me from that far away? Stretching to reach you from afar. I'm surprised we get in them that much, to be honest with you, without dying. <laughs> I'm actually really shocked that we're surviving this long. We are going to die, don't get it twisted, but... There we go. <laughs> he lasted a really long time, surprisingly. Nah, nah, nah. Let's look at that real quick, actually. I don't know. I downloaded the save, but I don't know if the save includes the world. No, it's the world, because I have the, the mountain home. There we go. All right. So I'm going to pause the recording here, and I'm going to switch to the old save, and I'm going to try to catch us up to where we were before we got caught. All right, so we're back. Not quite as far through as I had been last time, but the zombies changed since last time we fought. So I thought we'd take a look at this. Oh, let's get our music back here. One here. There we go. There's a zombie hollow here. What incarnation is a zombie hollow? It looks like Slenderman. Black hollow eyes surveyed the surroundings. The zombie stretches and bends in ways that. Whoever the original body belonged to never could. The only thing that seems solid on this flexible black veined body is Rose's sharp black teeth. Get the feeling that the only human thing remaining on its skin. Only human thing remaining is the skin worn as one would wear clothes. Little weird. Do I dare try to get a picture of it? It's not bad. Let's double run. It's weird. I didn't update the game this time. But uh, a bunch of stuff was different. I don't know if it updated on its own somehow. Or if the last time we updated it, we didn't quite try as many new things. But I just made a run back to the house to build some more arrows. There's a whole new crafting system going on, which we'll look at that later. Not all new, it's just it's more particular about how you pick what stuff to use. It exploded into parts. The zombie splits in two, so that's its thing. Small blob. Is it different than the blobs we've seen before? Okay, they do count as the same blobs as before. There we go. Get our arrows back. Blob, glob. 
use it to craft super glue. So don't mind if I do. Catch our breath here. Very strange. And you can see I fought another one of those big abomination things, Dissolute Devour. Okay, our quiver is reloaded. I'm keeping on. I didn't grab the rocket launcher. I should have brought the rocket launchers in case we do run into that thing again. I'm just gonna try not to overstep myself this time. Whoa. Pretty big explosion. These ones look like fairly run-of-the-mill ones here. Oh, this is this the skull zombie? I've killed one of these earlier. It didn't seem very strong. For some reason. Uh, that's just a regular zombie. Fashioned. Hey, Camera Pro. Let's all grab the game watch. Just to say we have. It's all sorts of new fancy earrings too. The camera pro is nice. Be able to take some better pictures. I don't know if pictures really do anything, but I figure it was like one of those things that we should probably try, right? Whoa. Some distance here. Hold a few too many. It says it's a skeletal dog, but it looks bigger than they normally do. Bow's not going to work on the skeletal dog. Tough zombies might make this a little challenging, though. enemy holding you collapses. That's new. Catch our breath here. Ran out of stamina on that one. Pulled a few too many. It's a much larger bag of cotton balls than usual. Usually they're just two out of two, by that time it's two out of 48. It must be a big bag now, huh? Oh, 
SD cards. Little dog. So might as well grab it. A howling waif. It's a creature a zombie, a bloated zombie, a shader zombie, sh shady zombie, a saluted devourer. Devour is not too bad. They have a lot of HP, but I aggroed a few too many things again. The skeletal dog fuses with the dissolute devourer. Hold up. What tarnation does that mean? This one has a lot of HP. I wonder if these things like absorb like tons of zombies. And then the more zombies they absorb, more HP it has. It's healing. It killed something that can heal. fast too. I wonder if it when it absorbed the skeleton dog got faster. It's bad. I'm not getting one though. I just opened up on it. There's nothing else I could do. That was a little crazy. I 
I didn't expect it to be regenerating like that. It was weird though, when I got on the bike it wasn't able to hit me that well. I don't really know why. Wait, is it dead in the trunk? I think it is. Maybe not. This body just kind of like exploded. Weird. Alright, so now we understand how that thing works. We just kind of got lucky that the previous ones were not that strong. Got some pain, we got some broken bandages. I thought we were about to run into the same situation as the uh, Skeletal Jaggernaut. Still have my big question is that I don't know if the zombie necromancer is summoning that thing. If I need to go try to take him out as quickly as possible, or what? But I do know one thing I'm gonna do. Quick save. <laughs> Go away from the back side of the building for now because it's a little bit overly protected. Game is spawning like crazy high level stuff against us now. Just a little bit crazy. Grappler zombie is not a big deal. I want to keep my distance though. Okay. This bunch of stuff that's sitting here. I must have run out of ability to carry things because normally I'd grab stuff like that. Unless those are probably zombies that I killed from a distance and then couldn't sneak up close enough to loot them. Tough zombie to the north. Hey, there's some arrows here. Tough zombie dies. What killed the tough zombie out of the window? <laughs> An ankle biter, horrifying little ming wretch. Appears to have once been a child, but now his massive gaping jaws are more, more suggestive of a predatory beast. Great, great news. Skeletal brute sounds like a lesser form of a skeletal juggernaut, which I'm fairly scared of. Ah, uh, the goddamn smoker zombie. Always a nightmare to hit him. No, 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 no. I 
have to fire more quickly because, well, I'm not going to have a good hit if I don't. Inhale his smokiness. Fire. Run. I forgot they have a super large explosion radius. At least we're still happy. <laughs> Have our dog harness. Zombie dog. Where's the zombie? I don't know why this thing is highlighted in red. I don't think the crow says zombie's a bad one. Unless it's the one that spits acid. And I don't mean the spitter, there's one that shoots like rapid fire. Places and angles, this humanoid creature prowls across the landscape with surprising speed. Its teeth and arms are shaped into fine points. Black ooze seeps out from cuts between its muscles. This is the several time that we've seen something that's new that says black ooze. I'm wondering, we like we saw the blobs earlier. I wonder if they've made it so like blobs can mutate zombies. And like we killed that one that split. Ooh, he's right on top of me. What incarnation are you? Okay, that thing is a lot stronger than like a feral runner or anything. Medic. Uh, updating this game has caused it. Are we bleeding? Again, Cataclysm has steeply escalated in difficulty. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we're, we're not able to make progress because we have no way to heal. They really nerfed the way healing works so much that we have not had full HP all game. Of course, we did a crazy start, but... Okay, I think in the future we pretty much have to take high healing traits, because... That, that's just the whole tool set, I guess. Driver set, yeah. I think we already have one. This is a different color than before. And then drive through next to the hazardous waste. Huh. Yeah, I'm just sort of like. We need to be able to loot the mall or something. Not necessarily the mall, but we gotta be able to loot some towns. And like every zombie is incredibly strong now. I don't know what we're gonna do about it, but first of all, we need to take some medicine here. Pop 
coating. Hmm. I just really don't like the new bandaging system. I get it, it's more realistic because you have to naturally heal over time. But they also, which that was fine when the bandages, uh, It was, it was fine when your natural healing over time was incredibly high. Which we did find that was kind of an exploit. You could just take the slow healer for free. And it wouldn't matter because you already heal so much during night. But now, we, we do have slow healer, which is definitely a bad choice. Actually, I think it's just poor healer. I, don't even, I think there's even worse than this. Oh no, there's probably one step slower. Yeah, 130 HP. So I think... I think we're done with this character, to be honest with you guys. I don't want to say it, but this healing is just a massive problem. I might be able to go into the INI file of our save and maybe get rid of it. And replace it with good healer. Maybe I'll try that so we don't have to quit. But we're just not making any progress because we're just not healing. And like the only thing you can do now is bandage. You can't do any other healing options. I mean, you can put yourself to sleep, but that doesn't really help. There's apparently an auto dock in the game, but I don't know. You have to find a hospital, and the hospital is going to be like the mall. It's going to be a crazy. Crazy tough to get through. So I think what we'll do to finish off this run, or well, I'll have to check after this recording and see if I can just change the value so that he's a good healer instead of a slow healer. I'll do that. Hopefully I can. But if not, what we'll do is we'll grab most of our guns. We'll grab the power armor and rig and the best helmets we have. And then we'll run to the mall and just go on a killing spree until we die. With power armor, we should last quite a bit longer. And who knows, maybe we'll find everything we need. <laughs> I don't know, though. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.